What's up Guardians, Tactical Fork here, and today we continue our tour of Grandmaster Nightfall boss rooms. I feel like we have covered some of the most lethal already, so let's take a break, shall we? And check out how to overcome the boss encounter of the Inverted Spire. Once you've battled through the drill and wide open, cabal infested fields of Nessus, you finally get to the boss of the Inverted Spire, Protheon, Modular Mind. This boss battle is split up into three phases on three different tiers in the boss room. There are certainly loadouts and ways of melting Protheon faster, but for demonstration purposes in the video today, we are going to review the full fight and what you can expect from each encounter. On the first tier, you start the fight by defeating the arc shielded harpies chillin' on the starting platform. Once they're down, Protheon will spawn into the room. This first phase is usually a quick damage check for your fire team, I recommend leveraging any powerful seasonal artifact mods and maybe a super to burn down his first third of health. This video is from season 14 where we had breach and clear grenade launchers, so anarchy and others were extremely useful for this Grandmaster. The same goes for season 15's particle deconstruction on fusion or linear fusion rifles. We've been getting some nutty mods to boost damage and this is the perfect boss to take advantage of those buffs. No additional adds spawn here, so just focus fire boss man. Be mindful that in this phase, his crit spot is the head, not the chest, like some guardians may have thought it was his chest. After almost his first third of health is gone, Protheon will despawn and the floor below you will dissolve, forcing you and your fire team to fall to the second tier of the battle. This is the solar portion of the fight. Protheon will spawn back in, uses a ground pound mechanic to simulate everyone's favorite childhood activity, the floor is lava. I highly recommend when falling down to this zone that you land on top of one of the many pillars, you are safe from the solar damage here, albeit a bit exposed to the boss. Again, use some special and heavy ammo, even another super to burn down another third of health. Again, if you do damage quickly enough, there are no additional enemies that spawn in this section. Again, the crit spot for Protheon is still his head. And once you get Protheon down to about a third of his total health, he will once again despawn and the floor beneath your guardian's feet will disappear, sending you down to the final phase of the boss fight. This is the arc portion of the Protheon show. This is the interesting part about the boss that trying to build gear for a certain elemental resistance doesn't work for Protheon. Uh, you get all sorts of elemental damage, so be mindful of that. Down at this level, you have five Vex Goblins to deal with immediately, so try and get them out of the way quickly because, as in any GM, even Red Bars can wreck your day in a heartbeat. Once you start damaging the boss, he will summon additional Goblins or Fanatics out of the Vex Milk Lake, who will immediately start pushing on your position. Just as with the previous tiers, focus fire on the boss, using everything you have left to handle him quickly without letting the adds overwhelm your position. And there you have it. Coordinating supers and leveraging any spicy seasonal mods can really make this boss an easy one to farm. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider giving it a like and subscribe to my channel for more Destiny 2 content. I also stream live over on Twitch every week. The link to my channel is down below in the video description. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.